PSX is not gonna be coming on PC. Yay, my brothers. I wanna know your thoughts on it. It's also not gonna be on PS4 and Xbox One, which is actually good, uh, but wait a second. Is it actually good? How many of you guys are still on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One? Like the video, subscribe if you're new. Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S in 2025, but it doesn't look like there's a PC version yet. So I wanna let you guys know I'm working on a frame by- yeah, there we go, boys. There we go. I want to know where my PC master is at, though. Yeah, any of you play on PC, one, if you play on PC, two, if you're like, realistically, I believe that it's going to drop a year after, but let's see. Let's see. By frame breakdown video, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff here on the channel over the next hour, and their parent company, Take Two Interactive. So both companies issued a press release, which I will leave a link to in the description. This is what it says. Rockstar Games, a publishing label of Take-Two Interactive Software, yeah. Inc., is proud to announce that Grand Theft Auto... They are proud to announce. They're proud to announce they're not going to release it on PC. Bruh. Now, nah, they're proud to announce uh, the release of GTA 6, which is actually awesome, man. Who would have thought that we're going to get the game? You know what I'm saying? Like, who would have thought we would get that in our lifetimes? 6 is coming to PlayStation 5 computer entertainment systems and Xbox Series X and S games and entertainment systems in 2025. So notice how there's no mention of PC there. This yeah. should not be surprising, though, as Rockstar's last couple of titles, Red Dead Redemption 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, it did not come to PC platforms until well after the release of the console. Yeah. So just something to keep in mind there. What's the main reason you guys think that they're not going to have it on PC? Is it because of the hackers? Is it because of the piraters or is it because like a game like GTA 6 is gonna be so big and it's gonna be ridiculously hard to have it release at the same time as consoles? I would like to believe in that uh, But maybe it's really because of the hackers and the piraters uh, Maybe it, they're just not ready for the PC Maybe they just want to take because GTA 6 is gonna be a massive game, right? I think the main reason could also or another contributing factor could also be that they want to make sure the game is smooth they want to first uh, test it on playstation and xbox make sure everything is good make sure the release is smooth as possible and once it's good they're gonna then release it on pc and realistically i think a year later it's gonna come on pc and then we already know it's gonna be remastered on playstation 6 playstation 7 <laughs> PlayStation 8, PlayStation 9, PlayStation 10, and also probably going to be remastered, enhanced, 4K enhanced, 8K enhanced on PS5 Pro. That now we have too. a quote from Rockstar Games founder Thank Sam Hauser who says, Grand Theft Auto 6 continues our efforts to push the limits of what's possible in highly immersive, story-driven open-world experiences. We're thrilled to be able to share this new vision with players. Yeah, that's a good point. Mustafa says that mods, uh, Rockstar hates mods. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. But, but the, they recently purchase 5m right like uh, the rp situation right so i think the rp is gonna be insane though the the day this game comes out on pc man the rp is gonna be insane mods i, I don't think they hit mods per se i think they hit the mods for the, the type of mods i think they hit are the ones for example right we had gta vice city mods san andreas mods i remember they took them down right before they came out with their gta trilogy the defective edition y you feel what i'm saying Bruh. and the reason they took them down is because they didn't want it to hurt their sales uh and they released their defective edition so in situations like that yeah they they hit the mods but i don't think they hit the realism mods uh like smaller mods here and there uh the the extra like you know how seconds bring the entire pacific ocean on them streets in gta 5 on the pc i don't think they hit mods like that but uh everywhere so just giving us some highlights of grand theft auto 6 it's gonna push the limits of what's possible in terms of an immersive story driven open world and they are very excited to share this new vision with players everywhere now Th this game better have a npc density bar it better have a vehicles density meter on console so we can set it to high set it to low look at these sisters i, I hope we we can spawn in a lot of sisters like that Bruh. as well you know what i'm saying now, a little bit of a description about the game. Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. 
Watch trailer one now at the YouTube link. Now they go on to say Grand Theft Auto 6 is not yet rated, although we know it's going to be rated M for mature. For more information, please visit rockstargames.com slash Roman numeral six. But for now, that just takes most Im strong in opinion. immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. When the world needed him most, he came back. Give it up for Mr. Boss, boys. Click on this video on the screen. This is our first ever reaction to GTA 6, my brothers. Check it out and I'll see you.